Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Virgo. Hope you're all well. Hope things are going good. Let's see what's going on. I'll get that Virgo energy in the cards here and then we'll just let them rest. I feel like I need to shuffle these. Virgo energy in the cards. There we go. Grab some overall energy cards. See what's going on overall in your love life. What's surrounding you? What is the overall energy surrounding you in your love life? What does Virgo need to know? If I see anything to do with finances and career, I will bring that up. Okay, I know that's important to Virgos. <laughs> it's important to a lot of people right now. All right, here we go. What does Virgo need to know? deserving conscious someone needs to feel to be able to move past this energy of feeling and be conscious of that they feel very deserving of something okay or maybe you're conscious that somebody else deserves more there's movement here it's a six take it as it resonates Happy success, conscious again, be open to receive. If you are deserving of something, be open to receive. Okay, definitely there's a need to open up possibly here as well. Wow, there's something lovely going on. Yeah, you need to be open and available. If you want to have success, if you feel that you're deserving, you have to be open. <laughs> Some of you really need to be conscious of that, okay? But it's like I said, it's always an energy too. Some people are need to be conscious of the fact that they deserve probably more. Um, they just have this deserving and, and, and entitled kind of thing, that they're entitled to more than they give. So just watch that. It doesn't feel that way, but that's how I, when I first see that card, I kind of felt that about it. And then we have teacher. Ah, yeah. So somebody's definitely stuck. They're learning. They're very focused on something. Uh, somebody may be trying to teach somebody something. You may have learned something through something else, something that you're very conscious of now. Maybe you weren't before, or it's the person coming in. So very interesting. So we have a teacher and a student. It looks like the student is learning. They're seeing all the wonders. They're seeing all this beautiful energy. Something's manifesting here. And it's beautiful, it's brilliant, it's white light, so it's very clear, uh, it's good, it's not nothing negative, so lovely, and I'm seeing that here as well as the sun shining here. Beautiful. All right, Virgo, what's coming in, what's going out, what's changing in the love lives of the Virgo viewers? Clear messages and guidance for Virgo. Does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? go this card wants to come out first there's that moon so I said in one of the readings yeah we have somebody's got a fear everything about fear about love it's an uphill battle okay there may be a need to apologize somebody may feel that uh, love is an uphill battle so they're kind of scared of it now it's always confusing there's all this unknown energy fear of getting hurt yeah someone's definitely afraid Oh my goodness, eight of vessels moving, walking away. Somebody is ready to move towards success, to be more open, okay? Uh, rebirth. Eight of cups, moving forward. Somebody's off to look at this. Someone's becoming very conscious of something. Now, this is somebody who wants to come towards you. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, definitely, but it could be anybody. This is somebody who's having an uphill battle. They've had a hard time. It just feels like a lot of work. It feels painful. It's kind of scary. I feel there's a lot of fear here, a lot of heartache. I feel there's somebody here who deserves more or feels they do could be you feeling that way about them or vice versa take that as it resonates as i clarify the full story will come out so there is this manifesting energy <clears throat> somebody is manifesting something here to do with the shaman wow Ooh, there you are virgo you're looking at something you're manifesting you're looking for answers 
You're hoping for success here, though, because the you know you have all the tools you need to manifest whatever you want. You just need to soul search. You just need, you're looking for clues. I, I feel like whatever it is, you need to be conscious of something, and you're really spending some time alone here, digging very deep. We have the green woman. Now, this is fire and earth energy. This is somebody who's very creative, very passionate, very focused. Uh, this is somebody who can manifest what they want. They manifest money uh, through creative means. <clears throat> this is somebody who basically throws everything in the pot and stirs it up, okay? And whatever comes out seems to manifest them what they want. Now, this is a very spiritual energy, okay, as well. It's also a healer. <clears throat> this person could be a healer. They could be a... They're fire and earth, whatever they are. Uh, there's some kind of mystery with this person. You may be wanting to walk towards them or they're coming towards you. But look at this teacher. This is someone who's learning by manifesting, learning by creating. And they put a lot of passion, energy, uh, and creati creativity into this so that there's growth. There's a lot of personal growth. Uh, it's financial success as well. That's the whole point. Beautiful. And then we have Seven of Vessels, Mourning. So we have this mourning. And I feel like there is, somebody does, I, I feel like somebody is learning um, by studying something, by being conscious of something here to do with the abundance and the possibilities. Uh, but there is some confusion. But this manifesting, this new beginning, manifesting a new way of seeing things, right? Um I feel like you're starting to see the possibilities with something or with somebody. Uh, or you also feel too, like I also feel there is some kind of maybe a little jealousy. Something's going on here. Uh, jealousy, you may be wondering if this person, I feel like this is you, uh, wondering if this person has moved on, okay? Uh, if they have other possibilities. You see that it's possible they may have moved on and manifested a new beginning. So, but it very well could all be you uh, looking for answers, wanting success. Yeah, so we have the King of Arrows. Somebody here is definitely uh, thinking, getting clarity, uh, seeking the truth, seeking answers, trying to find that clarity. And I feel like you're there. You're becoming clear. Um Wow, this is a plan, a strategy, getting ready to execute. But I feel like you're wait seven of bows. Yeah, you're waiting for some kind of clearance. You're wa waiting for somebody to let their guard down, or maybe you need to. Uh, you're becoming clear. You need to let your guard down. You may need to give somebody a signal, some kind of message maybe that you're waiting for to see if the coast is clear, <laughs> right? You're looking for answers and clarity here because um, you're coming up, you're planning, you're, there's a strategy. Now, this could be you watching someone or soul-searching it, but it could be their energy coming towards you. And you may be aware of this in some way, because you're kind of mirroring each other as well. I feel you're both manifestors. You're both very capable. I feel like somebody here with this Queen of Cups has had an uphill battle. This is somebody who has offered up that cup and been hurt. Now, someone feels the other person deserves more. Someone feels they didn't deserve this, okay? They didn't deserve the confusion, the mysteries, uh, the secrets. Yeah, it was just too much work. It was hurtful. There was some pain. Someone feels they didn't deserve it or someone feels they deserved more, something better than that. So it could be you or someone else, okay? So take it however it resonates. This is one of those readings where it's hard to know who's who uh, as this energy flows. So we have the moon, yeah. So there's someone here uh, who has a fear. Somebody hid their feelings. There's something that needs to be purged and released, and that's a fear. Someone needs to take their guard down. Someone felt they weren't being held in high regard. They were hurt. They felt they deserved more. And I feel there's this need to purge and release this, this fear, this old relationship baggage okay that love is an uphill battle that it's too much work so we have the seven of vessels or pardon me queen of vessels i don't know why it does that queen of vessels why is the queen of vessels here there we go yeah so wow 
somebody's offered a cup. Somebody wants to offer their cup, but I feel they weren't feeling held in high regard or something here that needs to be released, healed. This is being careful what you wish for because of this fear. Okay, I'm feeling like this situation's out of reach. It's just an uphill battle. It's only going to lead to pain. So I feel there's this offer, this seed that's being planted. Someone's afraid that somebody has offered their cup to someone else. There's some kind of jealousy here as well. So tell me about the three of arrows. So someone's having a hard time seeing a way forward, even with this offer. There's some indecisive energy. Someone may not have um, seen what was right in front of them. And it could be you, possibly, um, or this person didn't see. But there's someone soul-searching for answers. Somebody didn't see. Uh, they didn't see this heartache, this pain. Um, there's something that wasn't seen that needed to be. And it created this indecisive energy. So now we have the Eight of Vessels. Someone wasn't paying attention. Someone got hurt here badly. Somebody who deserved more. Or there's somebody who feels they're more deserving. They deserve better or they have that entitled feeling that they deserve more than they give. They want to receive more than they give. Mm -hmm. A little bit of manipulation possibly. We'll see. Let's see what the Eight of Vessels is all about. Why is the Eight of Vessels here? Why is this here? Here we go. Yeah, so cooperation, teamwork, compromise. <clears throat> I feel like somebody walked away here because they felt they deserved more. You know, there was a lack of cooperation, teamwork, lack of compromise in any way, shape, or form. They felt somebody felt manipulated, like they were being manipulated. So there was this walking away. But now I feel like there's this energy where someone is searching for answers. Uh, somebody's, I feel like it's, it's you. I mean, it's the hooded man. It's, it's uh, the hermit, Virgo. You're looking for answers here. You're trying to manifest answers. Um, you're very much um, going deep within yourself, knowing that you need to take your guard down. Possibly you're becoming clear you need to take your guard down. To clear something up, there's a need for clarity and truth, okay, to do with happiness and success, being able to be open. Someone needs to take their guard down. So yeah, I feel we've got this energy here where somebody definitely was kind of all about themselves. Somebody wants to move towards success. There's this need to move forward with this six. There's an energy of somebody who kind of moves towards manifest moving towards somebody for attention like i always see this as somebody who's off to get attention there's some ego definitely some ego here somebody's manifesting thing through the ego looking for attention but it's all about moving forward with success now it's i feel this past and present energy yeah we have this fire sign energy aries leo sag energy this could be this person with the fire and the earth in their chart i feel it was this person um is very focused on their career uh, they're manifesting something and they're moving towards success you may see that that they're manifestors that they're manifesting something they may not be as focused on you as before Maybe you feel they moved off in another direction due to lack of cooperation and compromise. But I feel like there's some kind of teamwork here. Uh, it's like you're trying to move forward. You're looking for answers to see if you're compatible. Uh, if this person's with somebody else, if they're teamed up or in a commitment. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I feel like it's more positive than negative, to be honest. Uh, I feel like there's this person is very much focused on their self, their career, their finances. They may not be as focused on passion as they are that they're moving towards success uh this is somebody who's kind of manifesting this freedom this moving on and i feel like the thought of this person moving on getting attention from other people because i feel they're very sexy very attractive i feel as though they may be getting other offers maybe you see that there's some jealousy here that you don't want to look at. I feel it's you, but it could be them. Take it as it resonates. We have the hooded man. 
Yeah, so you're searching for answers, looking for clues, soul searching about this new beginning in love, about your emotions, how you feel about this person. I feel like you're getting ready to, you're becoming very conscious because of this, uh, spending all this time alone, um, being conscious that you need to be open and available if you want love. Um, to, If you feel that you deserve love too, I feel like it. Everybody deserves love, and, and I, maybe you're conscious of that. And But, to you know, when you have that energy, you have to be open to receive it if you want that success. You have to open up. Uh, you have to give it to receive it as well. You don't just get it, okay? So this is kind of that sort of energy, I feel. Now, whether it's you or this person, and it may not be uh, anything negative at all, but there's someone here who feels very conscious of something about deserving love, deserving emotion, uh, there's something to do with heartache and jealousy, fear, scared of moving forward. We have the green woman. Yeah, so there is somebody here who's very balanced. They're balancing uh, their creativity, their energy, their passion with their work. So there we go. We got somebody who's moving towards success. They get a lot of attention uh, because they're very attractive, very creative, very hardworking, very passionate. Wow. And I feel like this. there's something to do with balance here. This person's very balanced. And uh, they're always balancing all this energy. Lovely. You probably feel like there is a balance between you and this person. You may be thinking that or they're thinking that about you uh, to do with this. This is also about balance, about moving forward towards that Ten of Cups, feeling reborn, uh, feeling like it's time for teamwork, cooperation, a new beginning in love. You're definitely soul-searching this. It's a fresh new start, a fresh new way of looking at things, uh, being open and available. Very interesting. Tell me about the Seven of Vessels. Yeah, so we have two people here. There is a lot of abundance between the two of you. There's balance. Look at that. Um, you have a lot the same energy. You're both manifestors. Look at that. You're both manifesting what you want, focusing on your career, your job, yourselves. Um, but it's balancing out the work and the, and the passion, finding a way to do that. So there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of abundance between the two of you. I feel like you're maybe soul searching, wondering if this person has a new uh, beginning in love because they have all this energy, okay, this very positive, balanced energy. They may have somebody else, they may have other options, and you're maybe looking to see if they do, or maybe you see them as an option. You see the possibilities of, of connecting with this person. Very, it could be just that and only that, and you're just looking for answers. You want to know who about this person, I feel. Um, I feel like you're manifesting this. They are manifesting it. Whew, you're mirroring each other. You're very much the same. Ooh, scary stuff. <laughs> That mirroring is pretty bizarre, right? Yeah, but it happens. People mirror each other all the time uh, because they go, they're go they going through the same thing and they start to look at it um, differently. And then as they start to mirror, it starts to all come together. It's interesting. It's just one of those things, the mysteries of the universe. So we have the King of Arrows. What is this King of Arrows thinking? What is this person's strategy? Oh, this, somebody is becoming very clear about a new beginning, a new way of seeing things, all right, thinking about love, a new beginning in love, someone needs to take their guard down, they're waiting for that clarity, waiting for clearance, waiting for a message, but this, you can't, somebody feels a bit guarded and defensive, right, this is, the, somebody has to take their guard down, okay, definitely to have this new beginning, you need to be open, if you aren't open, how can you receive anything if you're closed off? That's what it's saying. There's something to be learned here. And somebody's learning something. And it's sort of like you got somebody here who's very focused. They're getting it. They're seeing the light, right? And then you got the teacher here. Someone's teaching somebody this. Or somebody's just learning this through soul searching, through looking, contemplating. Beautiful. Tell me about the deserving. Yeah, so we have, yeah, so we have this somebody who, um, possible Taurus energy doesn't have to be, somebody who needs to be conscious of deserving, something to do with tradition, their belief, someone believes they deserve something, somebody believes maybe someone is 
feels they're deserving of something they shouldn't be to do with their beliefs and their traditions. It's how you see yourself, how you view your beliefs, your history, the way you conduct yourself in your relationships. And it's definitely an education card, the school of higher learning. Somebody's learning something about their own beliefs and traditions or behaviors uh, about being deserving before you're open and available. That sort of an energy it could be. It could go in a lot of ways. So we have the happy success. Let's see what's going on. Yes. So we have, yes, we have fertility, abundance, new love. So this is new love. There's somebody here who has a lot of abundance. they uh, very sexy, very sensual, uh, very earthy, uh, very creative, very healing kind of person. This is an empress. This is fertile. It's abundance. It's new. Um, it blossoms. It grows. And so I feel like to have this, to have everything that you want, uh, this empress, if you want this empress, if that's you and you're looking at this person, um, you have to be open and available. You have to be conscious that you're open uh, and available to receive this. I feel as though this person and this energy of the empress is um, something that blossoms and grows when you're open and you become conscious of that fresh new start, offering that love, being open to it, right? Very interesting. That's what this reading is really all about. Someone needs to take their guard down if they want to have a new beginning. Someone has things they need to learn from within themselves to become very clear. It could be this person, could be you, could be both of you. I see an Aquarius energy here, somebody who holds themselves in high regard, uh, purges and releases and goes off and has a new beginning, offers their cup somewhere else. This is somebody, it's definitely somebody with that Empress energy um, who is capable of coming up with new ideas, creating new ideas, doing things in a new way, healing. This is somebody who can purge and heal uh, fairly quickly. Uh, because they get themselves grounded. I feel this person has either some Taurus in their chart, you know, they have some earth energy, and I feel as though it really grounds them. Um, this person's very fertile. They're full of abundance. I feel like they're having a lot of success. Um, it very well could be you, okay, in this energy. But this is new love, a new beginning, a new way of looking things, being more conscious about uh, being open to receive uh, so when the universe hands you a gift, you hold it in high regard. You see it as your hopes and dreams. So that's basically what it's saying, is when you want, if you want to receive a gift, you have to be open to receive it. But you also, you know, you have to be deserving uh, to a degree. So some of you maybe feel, because of your traditions, your beliefs, your behaviors, things that you've done, that you don't deserve it. That's not true. Everybody deserves love. But you have to be open. You have to open up. You have to... Uh, take this gift, this gift of fertility and abundance with the Empress, and you have to do the right thing. Uh, there needs to be balance, and uh, there's a lot of things to learn with this, but uh, it generally uh, it's getting up in your head, thinking about it, okay, finding that clarity, the truth about this new beginning. You have a new beginning in love here. You have an opportunity. Uh, I feel like there's some more to be learned about taking your guard down, uh, could be this person as well. I feel like this person's not as focused on you as they were before because they're concentrating on their success. I feel like they've been manifesting success, focusing on them, but they're also getting a lot of attention. You may see that. Maybe you feel a little bit jealous because they're getting offers. Uh, they may have people giving them offers or maybe they're offering their cup to other people. Uh, or maybe you're just wondering about it, right? So, yeah. I feel like you're waiting for the clarity to come. You're waiting for clearance before you have, you have the strategy. You're trying to learn something um, that you need the clarity on to have this new beginning. But it's really the bigger message is taking your own guard down. Some of you are learning about that, learning how to go through that. Or it's this person... Very interesting. So let's grab, let's see what this teacher, what comes up with teacher? Why is this here for Virgo? Why is the teacher here for Virgo? Yeah, so some kind of communication, something moving quickly. I feel like you're waiting for a communication. You're waiting for something to move. Uh, there's this energy of the eight, uh, something that's repeating about sort of a been there, done that energy sometimes where there's 
some of you may be learning, looking at messages, old phone messages, emails, trying to figure something out. You may be very focused on them, trying to get some clarity about something. Uh, very interesting. So you may be reaching out, maybe ready to put a lot more passion and energy into uh, learning something um, to, before you become clear. And it has to do with this communication, putting your energy into something. It's moving forward. Wow. Tell me about clearance. Why is this here? There we go. Yeah. So somebody was, somebody had their guard up. Somebody was too guarded, has their walls up. Uh, yeah. Somebody was very closed off oppressed holding back yeah well that's what it is there's a need to move forward if you want to move forward you want to communicate you want this clearance this clarity you have to take your guard down so you need to be careful what you believe too like i feel like some of you um seven of bows is like the you know seven of wands and it's my believer card and i see when i see those two together uh, somebody may believe things to be one way but they may actually be another so it's a very guarded energy because of that. Someone standing up for themselves guarded because they're not sure what to believe. So very interesting. But you know, it's really something and you hold back and you don't take that guard down. Everything just gets stuck. It doesn't move. And it's like there's something blocking this communication. It's like you're waiting for this clearance. You're waiting for some kind of signal. Uh, something here to that you're strategizing this new beginning you're ready to execute this communication but you need a little bit more information or something <laughs> really interesting i don't know what you're up to or it's this person i do feel like it's you unless we have a taurus uh somebody with taurus around you that's going through this because i do see some heavy taurus energy but anytime you see the hierophant uh, the Empress, you're going to have that energy, uh, as well as the Hooded Man. I, I see the Hermit very much as Earth energy, but it's definitely a Virgo. So it's your reading, so it's probably you. Let's see what the outcome is. What does Spirit have to say about this? What are the messages from Spirit about this situation? Purity. Ooh. Yeah, there's something about purity, something about tradition, beliefs, somebody needs to focus on. There's something that needs cleansing, healing. Um, it's something that's very, look at that, very snow white. We got two different eyes, two different, <sighs> interesting. This card spooks me out sometimes, but I love it just the same. Um, something needs to be cleared up. Um, there needs to be this fresh new start. Somebody needs to get to the bottom of something. Okay, yeah, it's sort of like seeing the bigger picture, focusing on it until you get the bigger picture, until everything is very clear. Pure is the, what do they call it, the driven snow? Snow white, purity, yeah, beautiful. I'll have to look that one up more. I always forget what that one is because it. I think it doesn't vibe with me, the meaning, but... Yeah, so there's love here. This is about a fresh new start, getting clarity, uh, knowing that, you know, you are deserving of love. There's someone here who may feel they are. Uh, you'll have to take that as it resonates. You know who you are. But there is the birth of something new, uh, getting ready to open up and receive this new beginning. This beautiful, abundant gift is what I see. Uh, there's love. And this is gorgeous. All right, Virgo. So we have... Yeah, there's a need for some kind of flexibility here uh, for things to move forward because I feel somebody may have walked away um, or to be able to move forward, there needs to be cooperation, compromise. I feel like you have a lot in common with this person, but there's this, you both need to be flexible. There needs to be this compromise. Uh, you need to be, like it needs to be teamwork here. Otherwise, it cannot move forward towards success. Uh, there needs to be some kind of a commitment here, some kind of stability, uh, some kind of reliability. The Empress is somebody who always holds them in high regard. They have a lot of possibilities. They have a lot of abundance. So there's always success with anybody who uh, is this Empress. And it's somebody, again, who holds themselves in high regard, okay? And uh, they know what they're, they're very conscious of what they uh, want okay and what they are willing to uh, give and receive so you see her arms are wide open as well you see we have two people here that need to open up and be open and available and to give and receive 
right? That love and that energy. Um, be honest, be reliable. Somebody maybe feels that they weren't deserving of this empress, this gift. Feeling they weren't deserving of love because of their traditions or beliefs. Past behaviors, all right. Very interesting there. Tell me about flexibility. What is the outcome? I want to know more, yeah. Being patient. This card comes out in every reading. And it's true. You, love needs to be a patient. It needs to be patient. So I feel like you're being patient. You're waiting for something. Okay, uh, there's definitely a need for patience if you're planning on moving towards someone or vice versa. Cooperation and compromise fit with that very well. All right, spirit, one more message. There we go. Yeah, and wonders. Yes, there we go. All the wonders of the world, but there's this dark mass in front of this clarity. So there's a little bit of, uh, there's, I feel like you're not quite clear yet or this person about this moving forward, about this clarity, this action. But I'll tell you, somebody is learning something through focusing on something to do with the communication. Uh, there's this want, need to strategize. The strategy is to move forward and communicate. But something needs to be learned first. So there's this holding back until uh, everything is perfectly clear. Wow. Pretty direct reading, Virgos. Yeah, you got some love here. Yeah, so... There's definitely some kind of pleasure uh, here. So I feel like some of you, um, I, I can take this a lot of ways. And somebody is trying to find clarity if somebody is um, with, I feel like you're thinking that this person may with someone else. They may have other options. And this pleasure card is like that. But I feel as though uh, there's a need to cooperate and compromise. You need to please each other, but you, you know, and pleasing yourself as well. But I, I'm feeling there's something a little bit murky there because that crystal uh, has that dark mass in front of it. And that's a healing crystal. That's an amethyst crystal uh, for healing. There's something that still needs to be dealt with here uh, for this mass to go away. Although it has purple in it too, I feel like it just, it needs to go away. I feel like, you know, somebody's wondering something. They're looking for clarity, wanting to know if this person is single, if they're free, uh, if, they're, if they're hooked up with somebody else. Someone's seeing the possibilities. Beautiful. Of a new beginning. Somebody, maybe you feel it's quite very, more than likely possible because of who this person is that they've moved on. Okay, they've taken their energy, they've taken everything they've learned, they become clear it's time to move on, but it could be you as well. So, you guys know who you are, you know your stories. All right, one more card, there we go. Yeah, so we have a new beginning. So yeah, I feel like there's some kind of new beginning uh, coming here, a new beginning in love, a fresh new start. Uh, that everything is going to become illuminated eventually through some kind of learning. Okay, so you guys take care of yourselves. I wish you the very best, okay? Um, it's really quite basic. Get that clarity, move forward, communicate. Uh, learn from past mistakes, been there, done that, right? Make sure if you're communicating with someone, you don't make the mistakes again. Uh, don't hold back, remember? It's like it says, uh, to receive these gifts of abundance, you need to be open uh, conscious of being open and available and you know it goes both ways but if you hold back and keep that wall up and you're guarded and defensive it's not going to happen and so there's a little bit of a blockage here and i see it here with this wonder with this crystal uh, there's something blocking this healing this clarity and i feel like it's something that needs to be left behind something that needs to be purged okay and released with this aquarius energy so it's quite lovely overall i feel like whatever journey it is you're on i feel like you're getting there okay so take care of yourself i wish you guys the best bye for now